Seema Azimi is a black belt in wushu and won a gold medal in competition while she was a refugee in Iran. When she returned to Afghanistan, she opened her school. She has been criticized for practicing the sport as a woman, and not everyone in Kabul welcomes her school. Some threatened me, and this vulnerability continues. I get warning letters saying sport is a mistake for girls. Their goal is to prevent women from advancement, but we also try our hardest. We will try to convince them that we can have a very impactful and effective role within our society. Despite the obstacles, Sima hopes to spread wushu across Afghanistan. So far, she has around 20 students and says the number is growing. I want this club to expand and I want branches to be open in other provinces as well. I wish for the day that women from every walk of life and every tribe come to my club and participate in sport activities. Our women are strong and can bring about positive change only if they are provided with the opportunity. Sima has her father's support. He says he is happy that his daughter is practicing the Chinese martial art, and he hopes she will make a big name for herself in the sport. I hope Sima continues to achieve her goal, get ahead and does not stop. I want her to find her way to the international games. I will be happy if she could train strong girls like herself or even stronger than herself for Afghanistan, our war-torn country, and be an example for others. Sima Azami has been selected to represent Afghanistan in the next South Asian Games. She hopes to bring home another gold medal. For video journalist Hikmat Surosh in Kabul, Amy Katz, VOA News.